Yeah, so Agir 6000 is the yellow thing there behind me. And I hope that the sub that is unmanned sub that we lower down to do sampling in, in the sea floor of, uh, of Antarctic Ocean. At the moment we are actually back in Cape Town, but I just wanted to do this introduction of the Agir 2000. Uh, 6000, Agir 6000 is the name of it. And uh, it's amazing precision, they can actually sample, they have a suction, like a vacuum cleaner almost, they can suck up uh, different animals, so they go straight into a storing area, some boxes attached to the, to the, um, to this uh, sub. And uh, also it has a cl big claw that you can take a bit harder sample, so, so they can sample quite interesting uh, things you never the thing is that when you go down with a video like this it's not just a trolling bottom troll that kind of destroys things immediately but this thing we, you never know what you can find and sometimes you can see interesting behavior that is never filmed before and very few people have ever witnessed what's going on at the bottom of the Antarctic Ocean so yeah so it's very I like it a lot and it's it's uh, something very special as a biologist to be able to see. Very few people have ever seen what's going on on the Antarctic seafloor. So the deployment itself is actually just straight through what we call the moon pool. It's, uh, it's some hatches opening in, in the bottom of the ship and through that the, we can put equipment down. This is good if, the, if it's a lot of sea and a lot of waves outside. It's a much safer way for the equipment to just be lowered down into this moon pool and then out of the ship in that way. You don't need to hang it over the side of the ship uh, in a crane because then it starts swinging to side to side and it can damage the equipment. So the moon pool is very good and um, yeah, very stable for the equipment to and safe for the equipment to be deployed through. Thank you. 